Remember that evil Atlas robot that we said was gonna take over the world? This is Valkyrie, and he slash she is here to save it. Hey Robo fans, thanks for tuning in to D News. I'm Trace, and this is Valkyrie, the latest humanoid robot from a secret build team at NASA. The bot is based on the Robonaut, a space-based partial humanoid assistant for the astronauts on the International Space Station. But this guy has legs and can operate in Earth gravity, which makes him immediately more terrifying. Except, of course, that it's not. Valkyrie is 6'2 and weighs about 280 pounds, and though he's a heavyweight, it can walk, and unlike the Atlas robot out of DARPA's lab, it doesn't have a tether. I bet it feels like the doctor from Voyager. I'm free! NASA JSC's Dextrous Robotics Lab envisions Valkyrie as a superhero robot, which might explain why they totally copied the arc reactor chest glow from Iron Man. I'm not raw about it, though, because it looks sweet. Valkyrie, or Val for short, doesn't look at all like the humanoid robots we're used to seeing. It has clothing, sort of. The bot is covered in a special set of fabric and foam to protect it if it falls and make it seem less robotic. The designers wanted people to interact with Val, to think of it warmly, not as like a cold metal demon like Atlas. Val was secretly built for this year's DARPA challenge, where robots are used in Congress with humans to assist in disaster scenarios. The challenge isn't easy, and when I say secretly built, by the way, I mean like on the down low, like the super low. Like think windowless room, the size of a giant movie theater in a Houston hangar, with special access and very little press coverage. Until now. The robot will have 44 degrees of freedom across its body with easy to replace arms and legs. The engineers actually say with one bolt and one connector, the whole arm can be removed at the shoulder and replaced. That is a ton better than most of these humanoid constructions. Val's also got sensors galore, cameras and lidar in the head, more cameras in the wrists, the knees, the feet, and even more in the abdomen as well as sonar. Holy crap. The self-contained, battery-powered Valkyrie will compete with 16 other teams in the upcoming DARPA challenge, so we'll have to see how well she does. Yeah, I said she. Because Val sort of has a bus line, because the actuators that power her arms needed to fit somewhere. Though, I kind of love that Val's got an unofficial gender. NASA says that it's a robot, but why can't awesome life-saving robots be ladybots too, huh? If the bot does well in the competition, NASA sees the design continuing to improve and be used to prevent casualties by going where no man or woman has gone before. Not Star Trek though, just like dangerous places. What do you think of Valkyrie? Afraid or awesome? Tell us below and subscribe so that we can keep you in the loop next year when Val competes with other teams in the DARPA challenge. Thanks a lot for watching D News. We'll see you next time.